The last time you bought something online, on your way to the digital checkout, did you get the option to pay in four easy payments of just a few dollars or pay over time? Whether you're buying new headphones or a pair of sneakers, you'll likely be offered an option to buy now, pay later. What are these buy now, pay later offers? Who wins when you decide to break up the cost of a purchase over time? And how did these services get so popular seemingly overnight? In this Fit Money episode, we will explore buy now, pay later offers, the risks and benefits to the consumer, and why they show up in almost every online shopping cart. At a basic level, buy now, pay later companies like Afterpay, Klarna, and Affirm offer you an installment loan, where the total cost of the purchase you make is broken into smaller amounts that you pay back over time. If you choose to pay with the buy now, pay later company, you give the company your payment information, usually a debit or credit card, and they charge you for the first installment, one payment. Then the buy now, pay later company pays the original store the full amount of the purchase, just like a credit card would, and your item is on its way to you. The buy now, pay later company breaks up the remaining amount that you owe into smaller amounts called installments or payments and tells you when they are due. Almost all buy now, pay later companies then automatically charge your payment method on those due dates until the total amount is paid. So you get the item you want. You only have to say goodbye to a fraction of the cost up front. You know exactly how much you'll have to pay in each future payment and when the payments will end. Seems like a pretty good deal, right? The answer, like so many financial decisions, is that each case is different. With a deeper look into how they work, we can see that buy now, pay later companies, while different from other loans like credit cards, payday loans, or layaway plans, come with their own benefits and risks. On the plus side, these buy now, pay later loans are some of the cheapest loans you can get. Like credit cards, most companies don't charge customers any interest or fees as long as all payments are made in full and on time. For those services that do charge interest, it is often at a lower rate than a credit card or traditional loan would charge. If you have no credit history, a low credit score, or are hesitant to use a credit card, and you can afford to make all of the scheduled payments on time or early, these services are consistently the cheapest money you can borrow. There are generally few limitations in how expensive your purchase can be, since they're breaking it into multiple installment payments. Buy now, pay later services also have an advantage over layaway services, which hold the item for you until you pay in full. With buy now, pay later, you get the item right away, not after you finish making all the payments. The key point to all these advantages boils down to whether or not you can make all of the installment payments in full and on time to the buy now, pay later company. Late payments, a change in your ability to pay them back, or even just forgetting how many payments you owe can make these plans risky quick. Buy now, pay later services play on basic human psychology. You get the immediate reward of purchasing the item as fast as it can be shipped to you while delaying the sting of the total cost. That instant gratification and the wide availability of these offers can make it all too easy to lose track of how many installment plans you have going at any one time and how they fit into your overall budget. With these buy now, pay later plans available for most online purchases, bills can pile up fast, filling your calendar with due dates, while the installment payments drain your bank account or blow up your credit card bill. Online retailers have signed partnerships with these services in huge numbers for a very simple reason. Consumers buy more. All too often, from a company's perspective, a customer fills their online cart with items but never buys them because the total cost seems too high. Buy now, pay later companies have sold themselves as a solution to this cart abandonment. And there's evidence that it works. Consumers are more likely to complete a purchase if they can pay in smaller amounts over time. Credit cards, layaway plans, and other loans have been around for a long time and therefore are highly regulated. By contrast, these buy now, pay later companies are relatively new and there are few laws to protect consumers like you. 
Many of these services perform no credit check at all and do very little to check your ability to pay back the loans, so companies can continue to offer you loans even if you have too many already. These loans are also rarely reported to credit bureaus unless you miss a payment, so you aren't building up your credit history and score by using them responsibly. However, you can hurt your credit history and score by missing payments, having an overdue loan sent to a collection agency, and having that collection reported to credit bureaus. Last but not least, as these buy now, pay later companies look for ways to increase their profits, many have turned to selling the data they collect from you, the consumer. Bottom line, buyer and borrower beware. The availability of buy now, pay later apps has exploded with the rise of online shopping during the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as their effective targeting of consumers with low credit scores, no credit history, or even those who are hesitant to use a credit card. Retailers like the extra boost to their sales that buy now, pay later companies provide. Consumers like the no or low cost loans and instant gratification of receiving their purchase without a wait, but they also shoulder most of the risks. If you decide to buy now, pay later, make sure you have the ability to make all of the payments for the entire timeline of the loan, on time or early, for all of the installment loans you may take on. <laughs>